osmo regulation in fishes how fishes balance their salts and water inside and outside of their bodies in this lecture we shall learn to understand osmo regulation in freshwater fishes in marine fishes and in urihaline fishes which have both characters some hormones which help to regulate osmo regulation in fishes as well as some organs in the fish body which help to maintain osmoregulation so what is osmoregulation osmoregulation is the process by which organisms maintain the proper balance of salts and water in their body salts and water in fishes this process is critical for survival as they inhabit environments ranging from freshwater lakes to the saline seas so let's start from the freshwater fishes which are also hyper osmotic regulators freshwater environments have a lower concentration of solutes compared to internal fluids of fish so consequently water tends to enter the fish's body through osmosis and salt tends to diffuse outside so fresh water fishes have two major osmo challenges first to balance salts or ions in the body and second is to get rid of extra water to counteract these processes fresh water fish have developed several adaptations among them number 1 active salt uptake fresh water fish actively transport salts actively transport means using active transport by the expense of energy or atp from the surrounding water into their bodies through active transport using energy this process occurs primarily through specialized cells in the gills known as chloride cells while well, these cells use energy to move ions like sodium and chloride against their concentration gradients maintaining higher internal concentrations of these ions the second strategy is excretion of dilute urine so to prevent excess water from accumulating or storing in the body or cells fresh water fish produce large volumes of dilute urine having more water so the kidneys play a crucial role in this process by reabsorbing essential salts while excreting excess water the dilute urine helps to remove water that has diffused into the fish without losing too many valuable ions or salts and the third strategy is uh, mucus and scales uh, which uh, surround the fish body the body surface of fresh water fish is often covered with mucus and scales that provide a barrier to water influx this reduces the rate at which water enters their bodies and helps to maintain a osmotic balance so the challenges or problems faced by fresh water fishes are mainly two to maintain salts and ions inside body to get rid of extra water entering the body and how fresh water fishes have solved or adapted to cope with these are use active transport in gills through chloride cells to absorb salts and ions problem solved number 2 kidneys produce dilute urine to get rid of extra water entered problem solved so that is uh, how fresh water fishes maintain their osmo regulation in the body now let's talk about marine fishes which are hypo osmotic regulators marine fish face the opposite problem they live in an environment where the concentration of solutes is higher than in their bodies consequently they tend to lose water and gain salts marine fish have evolved mechanisms to deal with these challenges like number 1 drinking sea water to compensate for water loss marine fish actively drink sea water however this introduces a high load of salt into their bodies which they must efficiently excrete and in the second step active salt excretion marine fish possess specialized cells in their gills and kidneys that actively excrete excess salts the gill chloride cells in marine fish work to pump out sodium and chloride ions while the kidneys produce highly concentrated urine to eliminate excess ions without losing much water problem solved 
एंड द थर्ड स्ट्रेटजी इज लो परमिएबिलिटी मेरीन फिश ऑफन हैव लो परमिएबल बॉडी सरफेस टू मिनिमाइज वाटर लॉस देयर स्केल्स एंड म्यूकस रिड्यूस द रेट एट विच वाटर लीव्स देयर बॉडीज थ्रू ऑस्मोसिस सो दैट इज अबाउट मेरीन फिशेज how they maintain their uh, water and salts in the salty environment now let's talk about the urihaline fishes which are also called as versatile osmoregulators because they can survive in both uh, oceans as well as in fresh water uh, bodies some fish species known as urihaline fish can tolerate a wide range of salinities these fish exhibit remarkable flexibility in their osmoregulatory mechanisms allowing them to move between fresh water and marine environments for example atlantic salmon are anadromous fish meaning they migrate from the ocean to fresh water rivers to spawn to lay eggs during their life cycle they experience drastic changes in salinity or salt changes in fresh water salmon use mechanisms similar to those of typical freshwater fish they absorb salt through their gills and excrete dilute urine when they transition to the ocean they their osmoregulatory systems adapt to excrete excess salts and conserve water demonstrating their versatility so now let's talk about some hormones which are helpful in the regulation of osmoregulation in fishes number 1 cortisol this hormone plays a critical role in salt regulation in marine fishes remember in marine fishes cortisol stimulate the production and activity of chloride cells in the gills enhancing salt excretion so cortisol is mainly involved in the production and activity of chloride cells in fresh water fish cortisol helps to regulate iron uptake mechanisms number 2 prolactin well prolactin is primarily associated with fresh water adaptation it promotes the activity of chloride cells in the gills of fresh water fish only enhancing salt uptake and reducing water permeability number 3 arginine vasotocin it is involved in regulating water balance it influences kidney function promoting water reabsorption and concentrating urine to conserve water in marine fishes so there are three main organs in fishes which are mostly concerning the osmoregulation in fishes number 1 gills kidneys and intestines stomach uh, in some fishes uh, may be involved but mainly these are uh, gills kidneys and intestines so the gills are the primary site of iron exchange in fish chloride cells in the gills actively transport ions against their concentration gradients facilitating both salt uptake and excretion kidneys the kidneys filter blood to produce urine which is critical for maintaining osmotic balance fresh water fish produce large volumes of dilute urine to expel excess water while marine fish produce concentrated urine to conserve water and excrete salts the third one is intestine in marine fish the intestines play a role in in absorbing water from ingested sea water specialized cells in the intestines actively transport ions allowing water to follow by osmosis so that's about osmoregulation in fishes we have learned about fresh water about marine fishes about urihaline fishes and some hormones as well as the main organs of osmoregulation in fishes hope you got the point thanks for watching